Hi, I'm Stephanie. Taking your bike on a camping trip sounds like a fun adventure, right? So today, I'm gonna give you some tips on what to bring and how to pack your bike. This is what your bike should look like when you're ready to go. Everything you need packed safe and secure so you can enjoy the riding as much as the camping. Let's deconstruct what I did to get to this point. So this is my kit for a camp outing. The first thing to know about motorcycle camping is it's more like backpacking. Because you don't have a lot of room, it's really important to think about everything you need to bring. Luckily, there's a lot of modern lightweight camping gear out there to help you out. As you can see, you don't need a fully dressed touring bike. My basic setup is a sissy bar pack and a cargo net plus my saddlebags. So let's go through the list and get this bike packed. My big items are a tent, sleeping bag, and a sleeping pad. The tent is a lightweight two-person dome style with a rain fly, so it's really easy to set up and it's super compact to carry. I also invested in a good down sleeping bag. They pack a lot smaller than the synthetic bags and it'll keep you warm if you're camping later in the season. Uh, this inflatable sleeping pad will give you a super good night's rest if you're sleeping on the hard ground. The rest will go in my pack and saddlebags. Keep in mind you want to pack heavy stuff at the bottom and keep your center of gravity low. Always make sure to keep your bike balanced side to side, so make sure you don't exceed the luggage capacities on any side of the bag or the racks. I'm putting my rain gear and extra pair of gloves in one saddle bag so I can get to them quickly. Also a basic toolkit, a folding camp saw, keep that handy if you want a campfire, uh, some extra bungee cords, and um, a coil of nylon rope. One thing rope is really handy for is for hanging your food bags from a tree so all the critters don't get into it. Uh, the saddle bag is also a really good place for a small first aid kit. I'll use the other saddle bag for my soft-sided mini cooler with a couple of freezer packs and this will give me some fresh food for dinner and breakfast. That leaves just enough room in the saddle bag for crackers and trail mix. It's super helpful to keep things like your food and clothing organized in little stuff sacks. You don't want to spend your whole trip in your riding boots, so always bring a comfortable pair of shoes. Uh, sneakers are always good, hiking boots. I put these on the bottom of my pack in a plastic bag just in case they come back muddy. Next, a small backpacking cook kit with a cup, plate, and camp silverware. I also added some stirring spoons and a spatula. Next come a couple tiny nice-to-haves, um, a little backpack stove and a camping-style French press. You can picture yourself in the morning drinking a cup of coffee in the fresh morning air. Um, I can stow a little bag of ground coffee right in the press too. You want to bring biodegradable dish soap and a microfiber towel and you can squeeze them all super tight with your cooking gear so everything's packed super tight. A flexible water bottle is a great space saver too. It'll fit right in your cooking gear bag. And you're going to want some extra lighting for your campsite like a headlamp just in case you're going to need your hands free while you're working in the dark. Plus like a small lantern to light up a tent and always extra batteries just in case. I've saved the outside pockets on the pack for things I want easy access to, a pocket knife, waterproof matches, sunscreen, insect repellent, and a couple of granola bars just in case I get hungry on the road. Then I'm gonna strap the pack to the front of the sissy bar, double checking everything for tightness. Uh, the tent, sleeping pad, and the sleeping bag are all gonna go right here, bungee corded together and attached with a cargo net. If there's any give in the load, you can always add more bungee cords. Um, also be careful not to let anything touch the hot pipes or rub on your paint. Uh, safety tip, you're going to want to double check anything for loose ends that might get drawn into the final drive or the back wheel. You don't want a loose strap or a loose bed roll locking up your back wheel, especially when you're at speed. Uh, finally, I'm going to bring my full face helmet just in case I need extra protection from the elements while I'm on the road. So we're all packed up and we're ready to go. So enjoy the ride and enjoy the camping. <laughs>